Hi everyone, I'm Karen Cavett and today's video is one that has been requested by a couple of you. I thought it was a really good idea. It is an updated jigsaw puzzle collection video. So last year when I started making videos about jigsaw puzzles, um, it turns out there are a lot of puzzles in the... I just spit everywhere. I'm gonna try that again. So last year when I started making videos about jigsaw puzzles, starting with my four-part <laughs> jigsaw puzzle collection videos and now doing like the montage videos and using jigsaw puzzles in some DIY videos. Um, it turns out there are a lot of jigsaw puzzle companies out there that are very generous and just wanted to send me a bunch of puzzles. So as you can see behind me, I have gotten a lot of new puzzles since the last collection video. And I just thought I would walk you through all of them, tell you how I like them, like the pros and cons of each brand, and yeah, let's get started. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna start with the bits and pieces puzzles. I have been getting the bits and pieces catalog since I was like a small child. Um, that's how before like Amazon was a thing, that's how my family would buy a lot of our jigsaw puzzles. And now um, they're making their own, I mean they did then, but they still are now making their own branded puzzles. And they have been so nice and so generous in sending me so many puzzles. So I just wanna give a huge Huge shout out to Bits and Pieces. So this is one of the only ones that you see behind me that I haven't actually done yet. It's even still sealed, but that's because I'm going to be using this puzzle in a DIY video. It is 500 pieces. Honestly, I don't think it'll be too difficult. It's this nice like springtime scene. And I'm going, actually, I think later today, even, I'm going to put this together and then spray paint it. And then you'll have to wait and see what I do to it after that to make it a DIY project. <laughs> Also sent me this one which is called Lakeside Arbor. It is 750 pieces and it is a cutout shape so it's not just a square or a rectangle. This one was super fun. It's a great just quick easy puzzle for if I just want to do one in like three hours at night and I don't want to sit there for like two days using all the space on my dining room table for a puzzle. I can just do this one super quickly. And I actually really like the cutout shape. I mean, with this blue border around it, it's fairly easy to see which are the edge pieces, but it's nice to have something different that's not just another rectangle. <laughs> they also sent me this guy, which was a beast. This was 1500 pieces. I literally spent about 11 hours on one rainy Sunday just putting this entire thing together. You can see from the pattern that there aren't a lot of like big sections of color. You know, you can do the reds, you can do the yellows, maybe some of the greens, but it's a lot of very like small sections that all interlock. And so this one took quite a while, but I really enjoyed it. It's, um, it's a good challenge, a good challenging puzzle. And the Bits and Pieces brand is just a really solid, like quality puzzle brand. God, I don't know where to like put these puzzles. There are too many puzzles. <laughs> All right, the next brand that I wanna talk about is Eboo. And I actually learned about them from another Jigsaw Puzzle Instagram account that I follow was doing a puzzle like this. And I just thought it was so beautiful that I messaged Ibu and ask them if they could send me some puzzles to use for these videos and they said yes. <laughs> so they sent me four puzzles. This one is 500 pieces and it's a round puzzle and it's this really, really beautiful embroidery design. Now I have to say, and nobody is paying me to say this, this is my actual honest opinion. I think this might be my new favorite puzzle brand. This puzzle especially, the pieces just feel so luxurious. Like they just feel so much more lovely than any other jigsaw puzzle I have ever done. It's really thick, high quality cardboard. It's a nice glossy finish. The printing and the colors are just so bright and vibrant. And this pattern was really fun. It's so fun to try to find all the different like textures and it's just a really fun, beautiful puzzle. Also the box design, I feel like a lot of jigsaw puzzle companies 
the boxes just aren't very beautiful or not that, I don't know, thought out, but they have really put so much thought into every single aspect of like everything that goes into all of their puzzles. So these aren't the cheapest puzzles out there, but if you want a really beautiful, really high quality puzzle, I cannot recommend this brand enough. And then the other three puzzles they sent me are these, which are each a thousand and eight pieces. And each one is a square and it's a different kind of collaged illustration. You guys know I love puzzles with really bright colors. I feel like if I'm gonna be staring at something for hours and hours, I want it to be colors that make me happy. And these are just, I feel like these are the perfect puzzles for me. I love illustrated puzzles instead of photos. I don't know, I just think they're more fun. This illustration style is so fun and bright and vibrant, and it's not, you're not, it's, it's not like annoyingly difficult where you're just sitting there staring at the pieces and not putting them in. Um, you know, it, everything is pretty distinct, so it goes pretty quickly. And another thing that I love about this puzzle brand is that since this design covers part of the picture on the front of the box, they've done something very clever. They actually include a little poster of the puzzle design so you can see the entire thing and having this separate from the top of the box means that you can flip the box over and use it as another box for sorting out all of your pieces. On the back there they have a little mini catalog with more of their puzzles and I just want them to send me like every puzzle they make because I think they're so fun and so beautiful. So okay, there is this one, which is the uh, peacock design. There is this one, which is all different types of cats. And there is this one, which is all these illustrated birds. This one, I actually already filmed a uh, like montage video of me putting it together from start to finish. I just haven't gotten around to editing that yet, but it'll be coming very soon. All right, moving over here to all of these gradients. I'm sure if you're like new to my channel or haven't seen these gradient puzzles before, you're wondering what the heck they are. So as the box labels say, these are the gradient puzzles. They are made by AreaWare and it's literally just a gradient like this is the picture on the puzzle there's nothing else there it's just a like color theory exercise and color matching type of puzzle so the story behind these is that for christmas two years ago my sister gave me the 500 piece version of this black and white puzzle i had never seen it before i didn't even know like gradient puzzles like these existed and so then i went online to see if they made other colors and at the time they also made the yellow one and the blue one in the 500 piece uh, size and that was all that they made and so in my first jigsaw puzzle collection video i showed those puzzles and i was wondering if they were ever going to make more colors and they saw that and they kind of gave me a cryptic response of like just hold tight just hang on for a sec <laughs> and then a few months after that they announced that they were coming out with more colors so they came out with the purple one and the green one in the 500 piece size and then they also came out with all of the colors in a smaller 100 piece size so they sent me all five of the new 100 piece ones so we have black and white we've got green to yellow we've got this new purple color the older teal color and the older orange color and then these are the new 500 piece versions of the purple color and the green color and again each one of these is not the cheapest puzzle out there i feel like it's almost like an art piece and so they're these are about 30 dollars each I'm not sure about the smaller ones. I'll look that up and put that on the screen somewhere. But as I said in the first Jigsaw Puzzle collection video, I just love these because the boxes are so beautiful and they don't even look like Jigsaw Puzzle boxes. You can just have these out on display as home decor and it's just so understated and lovely. And personally, I find doing really simple gradient color theory type of puzzles like this super fun. I know it's not everybody's favorite activity, 
fav favorite activity, but I love them and I'm so thankful to AreaWare for sending me all of these puzzles because um, now I have the whole collection. I do feel kind of bad because they sent these to me a few months ago and I was going to do a like montage video of me putting them all together and I'm still gonna do it, I just haven't gotten to it yet and I know that they're like waiting for that. It is gonna be coming soon, I just haven't had a chance to make that yet. So I'm sorry, area wear, but um, thank you for sending me all of these. I love them. And then this puzzle was hiding underneath those. Uh, this one was also sent to me by Bits and Pieces, but it is from the brand Color Lux. So it is 1,500 pieces. It is all of these uh, cupcakes. And the interesting thing about this puzzle is that it actually has this color sort system. So the backs of each puzzle piece, instead of just being cardboard, is a color, and then the backs make this kind of geometric design. So if you are less advanced at doing puzzles and you need a little help with them, you can look at the backs of the pieces to sort them into the different sections of the puzzle, which I think is really interesting. I'd never seen that before. Personally, I did not use that, and when I first saw that this is what, what, what was a thing in this puzzle, I was a little worried that it would make it too easy, but I did find that as long as you just keep all of the pieces um, right side up, and you're not specifically looking at the backs of them, it's not like you can see it poking through, so you don't have to use this, but if you want to, it is there. I feel like this is basically like my perfect puzzle because I love cupcakes, I love bright colors, I love puzzles that have very distinct sections but that are, you know, 1500 or 2000 pieces, so just because there are so many pieces it does take a bit longer but it's not like it's frustratingly hard. You know, you feel like you're making progress the whole time as you work on it. I actually did this one without looking at the box, which might be the first time I did that for a 1500 piece puzzle, not a 1000 piece puzzle. Um, I looked at the box before I started, so I had a general idea of what it was going to look like, but then as I was working on it, I hid the box away so I couldn't see the finished product, and I think that made it even more fun because I just had to figure out where all of the different sections and colors went. And yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Um, definitely recommended, especially if you're new, newer to puzzles and you wanna try doing a big one, but you might be a little intimidated. This color sort system is a little helper for that. And finally, the last puzzles that I wanna talk about are the letter puzzles from Knock Knock. Uh, they sent these to me a little while back and I already posted the video of the montage of putting them together and taking them apart. These are super unique. I have never seen another puzzle like these before. It's literally, they make a word. So this one is the love puzzle. And so each letter is a separate smaller puzzle, but all of the pieces come mixed together. If you watch the montage video, you can see how all of that works. But I just thought this was so fun. I really, really enjoyed it. I wish they sold them with each letter separately so that you could almost like build any word that you want, you know, like you could order your name. So again, they sent me the love puzzle. They also sent me the yeah puzzle. And then since these are called four letter puzzles, um, they also make two others that are a bit less family friendly four letter words. So if you want to check those out, I'll put the links to all of those down in the description. But you guys know me, I love typography, I love lettering, and I think these lettering designs are beautiful. Also they're shiny gold, they have this like gold foil on them, which is very pretty. And yeah, I really enjoyed these, really recommend them, especially um, if you're like new to puzzles or you want something really quick to work on, it's not quite as intimidating as a full on like 2000 piece giant puzzle. <laughs> and then before I go, I actually already showed these in my first Jigsaw Puzzle Collection video, but I have since actually put them together, which I hadn't done at the time that I filmed the previous video. These are also by AreaWare. These are the ones where they have a section of the puzzle that's kind of uh, like cut out and made of smaller pieces and you can see here that is this section with the, the mirror is a different type of puzzle piece and looking at these designs you know it's not bright colors it's not a really striking design 
But once you put it together, the contrast of the different types of puzzle pieces, I found very beautiful, very striking, not like anything I'd ever seen before. I found the brick one to be a lot more difficult because you have a couple shadows, but otherwise everything is basically the exact same texture. So this one took me quite a while, but this marble one was, oops, this way. <laughs> this marble one was definitely easier. Or was it the other way around? I feel like one of them was a lot easier. I think it was the marble one that was easier because you have more different textures going on. So I wouldn't say these are my like top all-time favorite puzzles that I'm gonna keep going back to all the time, but if you want something a little different, um, you could definitely check these out and try them out for yourself. And I think that's it. Those are all of my new puzzles. All of those were sent to me for free by the companies that make them, but uh, they're not paying me to talk about them or anything. I am going to have links, of course, to where you can get all of them in case you want to try them for yourself. And if you do, take a picture and tag me in it so that I can see. So I'd love to know in a comment right down below if you are working on any jigsaw puzzles right now, or if you saw any of these and you want to try them, like what was your favorite one that I talked about? And I think uh, I've been talking for quite long enough. I think this is going to be a very long video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.